Hello everyone, it's Snupper the Rabbit Rabbit. On today's episode of Rust Electricity 101, the component guide, we're going to talk about the igniter. The igniter is a primitive component, doesn't require a workbench to craft, and it's relatively easy to find. Its purpose is to ignite nearby objects when you apply power. It requires two rust watts or two units of power to ignite. It can be crafted with five high quality metal, do not need a workbench, and it's fairly common to find, which means it's a good object to recycle to get high quality as well. You'll find it in primitive crates, barrels, and pretty much everything. It's a pretty common item. But here's how you use this. Place a number of objects around the build space here to show off what it can and cannot ignite. Good news is it can ignite pretty much anything with a fuel source in it. So for example, the simplest would be a campfire. If I apply power, you will see it'll spark up the campfire. You do not need to keep the igniter powered. You can power it just briefly. It lights the campfire. There must be wood in the campfire. If you do not have fuel in these sources, they will not light. You can run this igniter all day. It's not going to spark it up. Another common use, furnace. Again, you can see if I try to turn it off, it will not turn off. The igniter will just keep turning it back on again as long as the igniter is powered. And with some wood in the barbecue, it'll also work for the barbecue. Of course, same thing with the fireplace. Put in the fireplace, and there you go. One object that people are not as familiar with are the oil burning. So the lantern also works with the igniter. See that sparks up the lantern. Off. And same thing with the tuna can lamp. Place an igniter nearby, and the tuna can lamp will light up as well. You do need to place the igniter within approximately one foundation. There's a little bit of forgiving space there, but you need about one foundation to light up your ignition source. Which means it'll also work on the placeable objects here, such as the refinery and the large furnace. We'll have to have it somewhere nearby. Foundation, roughly. But it does work. Light up the igniter, and there you go. Refinery will turn on. And with the large furnace, the same is true. There go. And additionally, I set up a little demonstration here, which is an important proof of concept. Uh, you can extinguish all of these objects using a sprinkler. I'll grab my hose tool. I throw some water down on this. Can be fresh water or salt water. And there you go. Furnace turns off. So this can be used where you want to do automation. For example, uh, in vanilla servers where I wish to be a little less conspicuous about running my large furnace with the smoke plume coming out of the base, I will use the igniter to turn on the furnace after sunset and then use the sprinkler to turn off the furnace before sunrise. And that way, during the daytime, there's no visible plume of smoke. The other thing you can use this combination for is as a home alarm system to some degree. You can use the igniter to light up a furnace or a barbecue or turn on some lanterns or something like that. The noisier, the better, I've found. And you trigger it with an HBHF sensor. That way, when someone gets near your base, all of your lights turn on, or it fires up your furnace, or something else to make them think that you're at home. That way, they're less likely to try and offline raid you. You can then set up a timer so that a few minutes later, it turns on a sprinkler briefly to extinguish all those sources and not waste your fuel. I also set up a demonstration of a couple items that can't be extinguished. Uh, in this case, I put out a firework. Firework, once you light it up, burns until it's done. It'll launch all of its uh, mortar shells, and then it effectively derezzes after that. So there's nothing really to extinguish here. The other thing that people ask often is, well, can I set off explosives with the igniter? Well, no, you cannot. Um, obviously, I can't place C4 or a satchel charge, or they'll just blow up. But if I drop them on the ground, and I can also drop gunpowder or ammunition or other objects next to this igniter, and you can see that nothing happens. So unfortunately, at this point in the game, there's no way to set off explosives remotely or otherwise with 
the igniter. I'm sure all of us are hopeful that that'll be an element in the game someday, but right now that's not true. So there you have it. With some celebratory fireworks, a brief demonstration of the igniter.